my word, that made me feel like I can't breathe. Sorry lungs for doing that to you. Um, I thought it'd be kind of fun. I used to do this, I used to do this in like Sunday school. With like the plastic cups there, but I don't remember it being like that scary. I'm gonna get all scary. I don't know why I'm getting so like distracted. I think my ADHD is kind of raging today. Also, I don't actually have ADHD, that's a joke. But like a lot of people say I do, so now I'm getting kind of like low-key concern that I do. Also, high face mask. How are you? I would wear this in the video, but like, actually, no, I won't. Why would I do that? Anyway, I keep getting distracted. In this video, I'm basically going to be making myself go from this to something like less ugly and pale. Actually, I don't know why I said pale. I'm not going to make myself less pale. Well, I kind of am because I'm going to like wear foundation and stuff, but like... I'm mainly gonna make myself less ugly. Anyway, yeah, so basically I'm gonna be like doing my makeup in this video. Hi makeup, how are you? Cause like, honestly, at this point, I've really let myself go. And I mean like, really let myself go. Cause like, honestly, like these days, I'm either at work doing like long shifts or I'm at home. So like, I don't really feel the need to like look nice. Basically, I've just really let myself go. And I feel like today is the day to bring it all together. I'm gonna get my mirror. And then we can like do my makeup and make myself look less like a, I don't even know what I look like, kind of a meth addict, don't I? Meth addict vibes. Wait, I'm going to move the ring light here because the lighting's honestly bothering me as well at this point. So I'm going to move the like little ring light there behind you. <laughs> so you can like see me better and I'm also going to put a mirror there. My word. Now every time I blink, I can see the ring light. Ring light. Oh my word, this is... Oh no. Oh, are you actually joking? Wow. Wowie. Um, if you're wondering why it's suddenly gone pitch black, it's because I literally just broke the ring light and now it's pitch black and I can't see anything. Oh, okay, right. Now that we've got a more even lighting, we can... Pop right into the tutorial. I'm just joking. I don't know why I said tutorial. It's definitely not a tutorial. If anything, I like recommend that you don't follow this because it's probably going to be bad because honestly, I'm pretty bad at makeup. Also, I've got a new beauty blender, so I'm kind of excited about that because honestly, I've been using my old beauty blender for like, like three years and that's kind of like gross. Like, think about how dirty it must be. It's been touching my face for three years and I've never washed it. By the way, if your like favourite flavour of Fanta isn't Fanta Lemon, then you're kind of like bad vibes. Because like Fanta Orange is really nice and stuff, but like I feel like Fanta Lemon is just so much nicer. If you haven't tried Fanta Lemon, actually that's kind of a stupid thing to say. I feel like everyone's tried Fanta Lemon, right? I'm going to start by using this primer stuff. I honestly don't even know if primer like does anything, but when I last went to Superdrug, they had like a three for two deal and i was kind of stressed and i didn't know what to take as like the third item so i took this because i was already at the till and they were like you can pick a third thing because like you get it free and i didn't know what to pick so i picked that and to be honest like i don't even think it does anything but i use it because i paid for it for my foundation i'm using the l'oreal true match one um i've literally like always used this foundation to be honest i've always used this foundation or the only other foundation that i've used apart from this is like a number seven one i think i think number seven was like my first foundation and then after that i've only used this so yeah, i've been sticking to my home girl l'oreal true match for quite a long time l'oreal true match has just never let me down she's kind of like a queen and i kind of love her what really confuses me whenever i watch makeup tutorials it isn't that often but when i do watch them i feel like when they put on their foundation there's like a massive transformation but whenever i put on my foundation i just kind of feel like i look like crusty do you know what I mean? Is my foundation like too light for me or something? Should I go a shade darker? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just thought that was really funny, okay? I'm gonna put on some bronzer because like, sis is looking kind of pale. Like, literally look at me. In real life, I don't even look that pale. I don't know why I look so pale on camera. It's kind of a sad time for me. I use men, say, only, oh. I've got this habit of like always singing, like all the time always singing, even though I literally can't sing. Um, and it's honestly like a problem at this point when I film videos, because even if you like hum a song, sometimes you get copyrighted for it. Like literally how ridiculous is that? You can hum a song 
and get copyrighted for it. So I really need to like stop singing because I can't monetize videos when um, I hum in them. I mean, most of the time I can, but every now and again, they like will pick up on it. I don't even know how it works. Like if anyone understands how it all works, like how they know when you put like a song in. Usually for eyebrows, I use the Focal Your like brow pencil thing. I have no idea where it is. So I'm gonna have to use, I'm gonna have to use my like other stuff. Show how sad I am about that. If you're wondering what I'm doing right now, this little tube of eyebrow product has like, it's like sealed up at the top. You know when like you're using glue and it seals at the top so you can't get any glue out? The top of it is sealed so I'm looking for like a pin so I can, you know, pop the cherry. Oh my word, why did I say that? But I like don't have a pin or a needle. So I don't really know what to do about it. Okay, I'm gonna have to break this plastic knife. If this works, I'm gonna be kind of impressed. Okay, there we go. Did that work? If that worked, I'm... Oh, it worked, it worked, it worked. Yee! I haven't done my eyebrows with like a liquid thing for so long. I'm so used to using my pencil that this could go, you know, one way or the other. Okay, I've zoomed in so you can see it better, but basically to sum it up, um, it's going pretty bad. Like, it's going pretty bad. I'm so used to now using my pencil that I've forgotten how difficult it is to do eyebrows with like a liquid. Um, where's like my spoolie? Okay, okay, that's the first eyebrow done. Is it amazing? No. But is it better than before? I feel like kind of. I hope you're like all doing all right in quarantine. I know it can be like really difficult for people who like live alone or, um, you know, or like people that struggle with their mental health. Going outside is something that like helps or like relieves anxiety and stuff like that. Um, if you are struggling in quarantine right now, like I'm really sorry and I hope you're okay. Um, it's kind of a weird time for the world right now, but I feel like we're all gonna learn from it and we're all gonna come out better from it and like hopefully more like, more of like a community. Cause I feel like, I feel like as like horrible as this whole Corona thing is, it has taught us that we are a community, whether we like it or not. Um, and also whether we like it or not, we're a global community, not just like a national community, if you know what I mean. I don't know if that made any sense, but like, I feel like a lot of people like, can identify with like, their communities in like their towns or their country. But like the reality of it is that we're all in this together, like globally across the whole world. And I feel like the coronavirus has kind of taught us that because like we're all in the same boat. Like everyone in the world is in the same boat, which is really rare. I feel like it's really rare for like the whole world to be in the same boat. Usually like, you know, like, like in wars and stuff, it's not usually like every single country in the world or like any other kind of like epidemic that we have, that we have had in the past has not been like this significant. Yeah, I feel like this has kind of taught us to be like a global community in a way if that makes any sense honestly i don't even know if i don't even know if what i'm saying makes sense because i'm kind of like um suffering from like crippling sleep deprivation um i haven't slept for a hot minute i'm not gonna lie but it's fine with thriving my eyebrows are on i'm going to put some fake freckles on um if you don't know they're like i honestly love putting fake freckles on my face i feel like it makes me look more like alive and not like a literal rotting corpse um, especially at the moment because I'm so pale like when I came back from my holiday at least I had a bit of colour but now my colour is starting to drain from my face and yeah I'm just kind of looking like a corpse at the moment and it's just it's just not really like a look do you know what I mean I'm using the same product that I use for my brows but just like putting it on my nose so what I what I usually do is I do like dots like quite like thick dots and then I use my finger to like do that and it like copies them like all over and then i just keep like doing that i'll show you anyway because of you oh 
like freckles aren't like for everyone like not everyone likes the look of fake freckles but personally i do and that's kind of like all that matters it's my face isn't it at the end of the day um okay wait let me zoom out a little bit wowie i just zoomed it i'm gonna line my lips with my nyx liner because that's the only liner i literally own <laughs> also by the way if you have any like video ideas that i can film please let me know because honestly like i'm not like the most creative person in the world um i do have some video ideas but a lot of them like i need to leave the house and obviously like miss corona is not really letting that happen right now so if you can think of any video ideas that i can do like in my room then please let me know i don't really tend to overline my lips just because like it doesn't work for me but i always line them because i don't really know why i just do um and now i've lined my lips i'm just gonna put vaseline on them i do have like um like lip glosses and stuff but i feel like vaseline just always looks better this is like clear and like glossy oh that made me cringe certain words really like make me cringe like when i say them i like literally feel sick and glossy is one of them glossy is such a horrible word next i'm gonna do some eyeshadow i rarely rarely like i seriously rarely wear um eyeshadow so like if it's really bad then sorry about it but like i kind of actually have no idea what i'm doing just gonna zoom you in whilst i'm doing that Now I'm just putting like a shimmery like orange in the middle. I'm gonna put on my lashes and I'm gonna try to do like a edgy little transition. You ready? Okay. Okay, the lashes are on. Let me tell you what I feel like a whole new woman. Um, I feel like the lashes are a bit much, like they're not very, you know, subtle. I feel like they're nice if I was like going out. Not that I am going out, I'm literally, just, I'm literally gonna like take this off and go to sleep or like try and go to sleep. Probably won't happen because crippling insomnia but um that's besides the point. I was gonna like do my hair but I can't really be asked if I'm honest like I just don't really want to. Anyway if you did enjoy this video please leave a like, subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!